Oh man. Okay. So ex CEO of a major tech company, you know, the company, it's not important who he is or whatnot. He was given an interview about progress in AI and he later had that interview taken down because he said he misspoke. But some of the things he was talking about make me just a little bit nervous for the direction that technology is going in. Um, kind of a little backstory, uh, just a little bit of a fill in. Um, there is a wonderful YouTuber by the name of Eli the Computer Guy. He gives lots of information on uh, how to get ahead in the IT field, right? And he said that an IT person's job is to automate other people out of a job, <laughs> whether you're in IT or otherwise. How do we make this process better, faster, stronger, and eliminate the need for a workforce? How can we automate things? And so that makes the IT field in general filled with Bass Pro Shops. Let's put it that way. It's a superlative. I don't want to curse on this channel. And uh, the word starts with Bass Pro Shops. Yeah. Uh, I'll let you figure out. IT is filled with Bass Pro Shops. So because they're trying to automate everyone out of a job, and we see that in AI development, right? These LLMs and other models, they come in and they basically... They learn from the work of others, and then they produce things based on basically the work they've copied. They, so uh, you could see people in, in art getting automated out of a job because now AI makes art. And you could see programmers, that's what the CEO was talking about, programmers would be automated out of a job because the AI will, will write code better than any programmer. And... Right now, that's not what it looks like. Right now, um, these AI tools are just that, a tool. They can help boost productivity somewhat, um, in some cases quite a bit, but uh, it's not a perfect process. So could we see programmers be automated out? Absolutely, uh, just probably not in the next one or two years. Um, the things in the talk that made me nervous are when we talk about, when he is talking about um, automated warfare. So uh, having robots that fight the wars and they spin it as this idea that it's humane. You no longer have to have humans on the front lines. What a great way to spin promoting war, a safer war, because the robots are the ones doing the fighting. And also, then we can just delegate any commands that the the army needs the army of robots needs commands right so you need a general in charge of what the army's doing but what if ai was so advanced it could then just automate the general out of a job so now you have robots controlling robots or you know a computer program controlling robots but that's you know semantics so <laughs> he's advocating for this idea of automating away the military did you not watch Terminator? <laughs> you realize what you're describing is Skynet, right? <laughs> robots, controlling robots. If they become self-aware and they have any issue with humanity, you're just, oh, we just gave the military to the robot? Like, I, I, I don't have the words. I don't know what to say to this level of mental degradation. Let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> that's absolute, I, that's its problem. It's a problem. And not just for automation issues. Like, oh, all the army people are out of a job. Oh, the general doesn't have a job. I, I, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean, you gave robots guns. And and then you had other robots control them. Uh, that's just that's a slippery slope to mass annihilation. I'm not okay with that. And if, you know, there is no AI general... There is, you know, no self-awareness in them and, and no uh, disdain for humanity in any way. You know, they, they didn't wake up and go kill all humans. Okay, so that doesn't happen. What if it's simpler than that? What, if you've read um, Bostrom, Bostrom's uh, Super Intelligence, I think it is. Um, I'll try to leave a link down below. Um, one of the terrible outcomes of artificial intelligence isn't that it becomes self-aware and tries to murder us. It's that we program it wrong. You know, you make a machine whose job is to automate the making of paper clips, right? But you don't give it enough parameters or enough of a training set so that it doesn't know what to make the paper clips out of. 
or you know it finds a better way to make paper clips and that better way is out of humans so it just goes around turning everything into paper clips including people and that is a machine that can't be reasoned with it's not malicious it's just doing its job making paper clips right and it's turned everything into paper clips and everything that's really bad so you don't actually need a malicious AI actor to turn an army of robots against humanity. You just need a badly programmed set of instructions that, you know, turns us all into chop suey. So, uh, yeah, this is, it's just starting to get ridiculous with this AI thing where we go, here's this cool new tool. Let's apply it everywhere. Let's put it in everything. <laughs> Killer robots. Wee. And it's going to be sold to us as like a humane thing. Uh, oh, we'll, uh, we'll get people off the battlefield. You know, less killing. Less killing. Can you imagine? Uh, okay, so, yeah, that made me a little bit nervous. Um, can we not do this? Is there like a petition to sign or like a protest to go to? Or can I write a strongly worded letter? Yeah, <laughs> because is there something? Do we just check out? Do I get rid of the smartphone? Do I just like trash all my computers do it how do we avoid killer robots run by robots uh, skynet how do we avoid skynet that's a great question uh, let's not do that humanity could we not please because you know there was a, there was a whole movie series it's quite popular actually it, t it tells us this is a bad idea so i don't know just something to think about Maybe it'd be better if we actually went to those Bass Pro Shops, you know, literally, and uh, bought some camping gear and spent some more time outside. Something to think about. Don't program killer AI robots. Okay, have a good day.